for or against pennies? Oh, I think coins are so obsolete. I mean, even paper cash, no one really uses that much anymore unless they have to. And coins are like the worst extension of that. Thanks to Risa Maurice in tier one. Schmoopert in the prime jakey. How am I supposed to use a payphone without coins? We don't have those in Tampa, so I couldn't tell you. We maybe have like one payphone in all of Tampa. I have seen those Schmoopert, yes. Thanks to Prime Yokai. When was the last time you used coins exactly? Uh, I haven't used coins ever a single time in my entire fucking life. Since becoming, in, like even, actually even before becoming an adult, even in high school. They have been obsolete for a long, long time. Cap, what would I be spending coins on? Actually nothing. Arcades? Brother, they use tokens. Damn, avoiding vending machines, huh? Literally don't eat out of vending machines and haven't since I was a child. And even then, the vending machines were usually like a dollar. Public transit doesn't exist in Tampa. Parking machines. We only have those in downtown. And even then, all of those are digital and they've been digital for over a decade. I legitimately can't think of a single time in my life where I've ever used coins for anything. Laundry. No, I have washing, washer and dryer. Even in my apartment, it came with washer and dryer. So I've never used it at a laundromat. Thanks to Resub Isho. Highway tolls. Oh, there you go. There's one I actually have used coins at. Yeah, highway tolls. Where you have to toss coins in. There you go. There's one. Though I wouldn't necessarily call that like a transactional thing. That's like a requirement when you're using a road. Scratch tickets. What fucking scratch tickets are... Every single scratch ticket here in Tampa is either one, five, twenty, or fifty dollars. I've never seen anything over that, and I've never used coins for a dollar or up to five dollars. I've never used four quarters. Let's use some wax, and the five use of wax. No, you use it to play. I've never used it. Okay, A, that's not even spending coins or, or anything like that. And B, I've never used a coin to scratch it off either. I've always just used literally anything because everything scratches it off. Actually everything. I don't, like, I don't carry coins. So I wouldn't have used them to ever scratch shit off. And since I don't pay with cash, I never get coins back. Do you have those things at Taco Bell with, like, the coin maze? I don't think so. Have you ever played Geometry Dash? A long time ago, yeah. It was a Prime Reborn. The only time I ever keep up... Well, keep up's the wrong word. The only time I ever tune into Geometry Dash is during, like, the community drama. Like, when they had that massive cheating fiasco, like, three or four months ago. Things are Innocence. Yeah, they were close games. Have you ever tried psychedelics? No, I don't think I ever would. That's just a, it's such a gamble. There's all those horror stories about people that do like a psychedelic once and then completely lose themselves. End up a totally different person or some shit off of a bad trip. I would never even bother rolling the dice. Thanks to Resub. Zero and Icy. Yeah, ego death. That's what they call it. That's a myth. Uh, that's a pretty well documented myth, then I guess. It has that, that is the name of it. Ego death. I think it's pretty real. Ego death is a good thing. Oh, I I don't, I don't know about that. Thanks to the raid, Jake. If we're talking about the same thing, isn't that where you totally disassociate from your body? Like, then you start, like, thinking of yourself as a totally different person that leads to, like, the extremely cringe fucking YouTubers that go down that, like, um, who's that, there was a YouTuber who had, 
what I think he described as a self-proclaimed ego death, and then he started drinking cum and started making videos about why drinking cum is actually good for you? Connor Murphy. Yeah, that's his name. Connor Murphy. Wasn't that what... That, isn't that what happened? He had, like, ego death from psychedelics or some shit? It's been so long since I looked into this rabbit hole. It's actually really sad. Like, it's not a goofy topic or anything. It's actually just a really sad one. Cum isn't the worst thing to drink. No, but when you're talking about, like, how cum is, like, some kind of fucking panacea, like a magical elixir that you come into, come into glasses and just drink it and shit, I mean, that's not... You know, I wouldn't necessarily, like, call it healthy. I still haven't finished Stone Ocean yet, but I liked it. The Netflix really fucked the release schedule, so I still haven't even watched the last part. They really fumbled that, but it's it's been good. One day I'll finish it. Who won Rocket League? Vitality. They did it. They got the bracket reset and beat BDS. Is your sub Aaron? Netflix is working on a series called Zombieverse. Just in time for no one to give a fuck about zombies anymore. Good for them. Classic Netflix. I'm excited when they release their new Harlem Shake show to capitalize off that trend. Thanks, Resub Greg. The trailer for it is very weird. For Zombieverse? What is this? Wait, is this... Is this like a big budget production or like really low budget production? Is, is this the same show, Zombieverse and Zom 100? I did not watch Wimby's game today, but chat told me he played very well. Dropped 27. Things he resub laws. Korean shows are unironically what Netflix is thriving on. Yeah, no, 100%. That's all Tiana watches now on Netflix's K-dramas. That, that is by far Netflix's most profitable sector you think you could score on Wimby with your step back with my step back no but I could break those big goofy ankles of his with some of my nasty crossovers and lord help him if I bust out the euro step that end his career on the spot thanks for you said dark knight